Alright, what is up guys? And for this video, I want to talk about the new limited time game mode in Skullgirls Mobile, Holodeck Hazards. Holodeck Hazards was advertised in the update notes as an event that gives only experience but gives a lot of it. Obviously, this means this was introduced to the game to help players level up their fighters faster. Now, the event started for the first time ever just a few hours before this recording and I played it live on stream the moment it became available. In fact, the footage you are seeing is from that exact stream, except I disabled the sound. This is mostly because my Twitch counterpart tends to say things that are not very family friendly. And uh, for YouTube at least, I want to keep things relatively clean. Relatively. Anyway, this is all the information I have about this event so far. Number 1. Holodeck Hazards consists of 5 fights. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I bet you wouldn't have figured that out without me. You're welcome. Number 2. Fights cannot be repeated once completed. Unlike dailies and story mode, you can't keep doing the same stage over and over again. This is something I learned the hard way because even though it's not obvious now, a while ago on stream, my Twitch counterpart was repeatedly tapping on all the nodes like an epileptic baboon. To replay the map, you have to wait for the reset. This leads me to my next bit of info. The event resets every hour. As of this current patch, even after the timer resets, the nodes stay cleared. You need to restart the app for the nodes to reset so you can play them again. If for example you run out of time before clearing all the nodes, you can still continue to clear the rest of the map even after the clock resets without having to restart the app. But once you do restart, only the stages you cleared from the previous hour will become playable again. Whatever nodes you cleared in the current hour will stay cleared until of course the next timer reset. Number 4. Opponents are all diamonds, either evolved or natural, with varying stat bonuses per node. The leftmost node will have 150% health and attack bonuses. The two adjacent nodes on top of each other have 300% bonuses. The one directly to the right of those two nodes has 400% stat bonuses. And the rightmost node has 500% stat bonuses equivalent to the highest possible stat bonus given to high streak prize fight defense teams. Number 5. Opponents are all random. This can work for and against you. A lot of times, you will end up with punching bag stat sticks that won't really be much of a threat unless you're using an extremely weaker team. The flip side is, when you low roll, you will fight the occasional dreadlocks, neuromancer, plot twister, their splitting image, and similar annoying defenders. And because you'll only find out who your opponents are when the fight begins, you'll have no opportunity to prepare specific counters. Number 6. Your opponents will not have marquee abilities. This is going to be a huge help for your offense. No ICU means you can use debuffs more often. No Tainted Blood and Grudge means you can crit more often without being punished. No Frontman or Soloist means the big bands you fight will have less damage reduction. And no Ritual Sacrifice means you don't have to worry about Eliza coming in with full meter. Number 7. There are no stage modifiers. There's nothing else to worry about aside from your opponent's stats and signature abilities. This makes blind picking into randomized opponents a lot less intimidating and fights relatively easier to clear. And number 8. This event gives a lot of experience. The amount of experience per fight without boosters can range from over 20,000 to as much as over 100,000 depending on how strong the opponents are and how big the long shot bonus is. This means with double XP boosts, it's very possible to hit as much as 200,000 experience from a single fight. Very nice. So here are my first impressions. Holodeck Hazards is a nice additional way to farm a large amount of experience for fighters in a short amount of time. How effective this will be as a standalone farming tool depends entirely on player schedule and level. Like obviously a player who can only play once a day will benefit from this way less than someone who can log in and play every hour. Early game players will most likely be unable to clear this event for now, but that's okay. 
In the early game, story mode and low streak prize fights are sufficient to level your bronzes and since your player level goes up frequently, they will constantly have enough energy to keep farming experience elsewhere. For mid-game players, depending on their roster, they'll probably be able to clear only the first node, maybe even the second set of nodes if they high roll into variants with no defensive abilities. For the sweaty tryhards and the rest of the late game players, the lack of stage mods and marquee abilities will make this a very easy source of experience, albeit a little inconsistent on its own if you want to constantly power farm. Longtime players and hardened vets can probably farm more total experience in an hour just playing through their high streak prize fights. Nonetheless, Hollow Deck Hazards is a great new mode to give players a quick burst of experience for fighters they are rushing to max out. As far as tips are concerned, I don't really have anything specific in mind. Um, use your strongest team, do your best, and pray you get lucky with your opponents. If I were to ask pull some variants that have very good long shot potential, it would be Bad Hair Day and Xenomorph if they can survive the chip damage, Bio Exorcist, Vaporwave Vixen, and any Beowulf with enough damage to kill 3 fat diamonds in 3 minutes. So that is the scream of someone who just realized that a 1k Beowulf might not deal enough damage to beat the 300% node. However, I tried again with a 7k Wrestler X and I was able to pull it off. There are probably many more viable strats out there, especially since marquee abilities and stage mods are non-existent. Lastly, a reminder. This video is pertaining to the very first version of Holodeck Hazards released on the 27th of March in the year of our Lord 2021. I would not be surprised if this mode is given some tweaks and reworks in future updates. I always discuss these kinds of changes among many other things Skullgirls Mobile related, so be sure to subscribe to stay informed and updated. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. As always, thanks for watching, and that's a wrap.